A good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you're watching this. I'm back out again today because I love it. Not metal detecting though, so those avid metal detectors can soon switch off. You can see by some old stonework behind me, we're somewhere very, very, extremely historical. Um, crazily historical. We're in a place called Canterbury. Many people might have heard of this place because the Archbishop of Canterbury in a massive cathedral. Get on to that in a second. Uh, the reason I am here is because I found a coin about a year ago out in a field and it's about 15 miles, 10, 15 miles from current location. Um, and it actually belongs to an old pub, which after the finds of the liaison officer gave it back to me. He said, you know that pub still exists? 400 year old tokeny coin, which is a funny shape. It's, it's a, it's a, it's here. My, octagonal. It's octagonal. I'll show you some better pictures and the write up I got from the flow after this. So we're going to go take a walk and see this place and maybe even if it's open, donate it to them um, because I'm sure they would be interested in the coin. Anyway, other than that, we're also here in Canterbury because someone's family crest after doing uh, ancestry DNA, she followed her family tree back and her family crest is actually on Canterbury Cathedral. So we're doing that today as well. So first things first, we're gonna get out of the car, we're gonna have a little walk down to the Checkers Inn, it's called. And even the token, as you'll see on the clips here, it's got like a checkered... Uh, checkerboard. Checkerboard on the back of the token. So we're gonna go and have a little mooch, see if anyone's there, donate it to them. Um, first of all, I'm gonna try and spend it in there <laughs> yeah. and see if they take it for currency. Uh, they probably won't. But. Welcome you along to our adventure. Right, nice little day of exploring. It is a nice little day of exploring. Something a bit different. I know avid metal detectors, just hardcore like metal detecting, but this is metal detecting related because some guy found metal detecting. Historical. It is a historical and it's something uh, I want to go check out myself. Right, if you like this sort of thing, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and uh, yeah. Off for a there it is. <laughs> Off we trot. <laughs> right, I thought this is a bit of junk, first of all, and I give it a wipe and it's got. In Canterbury, Bury, his half penny. Oh, that's a his half penny. I've never had one. Oh wow, that's got to be rare. I've never had one this shape. Um, nor have I seen one like this. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a good old clean up and see what else I can get off this, but it's got something around that edge. I'm gonna get your toothbrush out and try and get its full glory. That's old. <laughs> I don't know why it's that shape. Well, I've had a good old clean up with toothbrush. I don't get a squirt on it because sometimes that can uh, affect the metals. That's crazy. It definitely says in canter bury his half penny. Uh, that side I've got a. Uh, almost like a checkered flag in the middle. I um, can't quite make out what it says around the edge. That there, definitely my find of the day. I know some of my American viewers will be thinking this is something out of Hogwarts, but uh, this is Canterbury. <laughs> These are the side streets, and uh, there's a nice Roman museum here we might head into a bit later on. Uh, but we're going to find the checkers in two seconds. All the street names still hold the name for what they used to do down there. So this one is called Butchery Lane. So it's where they would kill people and make them into pies and sell them. They, they wouldn't kill them. people and make them into pies. So obviously where they did butchery. So that's pretty awesome. Doesn't say butchery of what though? Butchery or no, it didn't say butchery or what. Alright, we've located it. Spaniel, why are you in Spaniels? Oh my god. Oh, it's actually a sweet shop now. It's actually a sweet shop. The old check is in as a sweet shop. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I don't know about copyright music of this, but um, here's a token I'm going to give to the, the premises owners at the moment, which is a sweet shop. So can I get a penny's worth of sweets with that? Does it, is it still, can I still use that as a penny's worth of sweets? Pennies worth. Oh, it's, but it's a token for the building. Yeah. And it, it says half penny actually, so I'll take half a penny's worth of sweets if you still have it. <laughs> 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 I thought I could do 100 grams of sweets. 100 grams of sweets for that yeah. token? Yeah, and I could do half a 100 grams. Oh, that'd be amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Oh, so I managed to spend a 400 year old token in the place where it was made for and I've got myself a couple of fried <laughs> eggs. Absolute legends. Thank you very much. All right, enjoy, won't you? I will do. Cheers, thank you. Thank you, you very much for that. No worries, thank you. Okay, thank you. First things first, I can't believe the shop honoured the half penny token and actually traded it for goods. After 400 years, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I know it's not a pub or a public house anymore, it's a sweet shop. But I got a couple of fried eggs out of it. I can't complain. <laughs> I'm, I'm really over the mood of that. And plus, it's belotting. It's where it belongs, to be honest. It's where it's made for. Yeah, I'm over the mood about that. Sorry about the wind noise, a bit of blowing a hoodie. But this is like one of the main gates to Canterbury Cathedral. And Holly is standing below a family crest, which is up there. I'm gonna let Holly talk to you about it because she knows more about it than I do. But look, look at there's the cathedral there in the background with a, one of its main gates and doors through it. But this is just a gatehouse. Right. <laughs> So how on, how on earth did you find out that it's the, um, the cog crest there is actually... Catherine wheels. Catherine wheels, the Catherine wheel. It looks like cogs to me, but they're Catherine wheels. From doing my family tree. From doing your family tree? Yep. Yeah. And then I saw that they resided in the area and the most... Well, it was quite a prominent family and one of the main ones was quite important. He lived at Warmore Castle. Warmore Castle? Yep. yep. He was a sir. He was High Sheriff of Kent, Governor of Dover Castle. He was a knight, an ambassador, a member of parliament, and Lord Warden of the Cinque Ports. Oh. And that's my 18th great granddad. 18th great granddad. And then his son is the one that wrote the book, The Discovery of Witchcraft. Oh. The one that you got me for Christmas. Oh, I did get you for Christmas, yes. Oh, it's pretty cool. And it's the same family line that um, my one of my great grandmothers was accused of being a witch and burnt at the stake, and she was stepmother to. Do you know all, all I can think about is when you say that is Monty Python, you're a witch, you're burn, a witch burn a witch. <laughs> and she, uh, the king, when he was a little boy, got punished for something and was like shut in a cell overnight. And then when he grew up and was an, a man-king, um, he took revenge on the family mm -hmm. and took all the servants and family members hostage and tortured them until they said that she was a witch. And so she was then burnt at the stake after being accused and her son was made to watch. Nice! Yeah. Interesting English facts. And there's a like, medieval wood carving prints of her being burnt at the stake. Family crest. Uh, very interesting video as well because you see there's a red sign behind me there. On the opposite side is another sign. That is the shop that took uh, my token from 400 years ago. Traded in for some sweets. They honoured your currency. They honoured my currency. And there's the arch where Holly's crest is. So yeah. Pretty cool video if you ask me.
Right, where are we going next? Roman Museum. Roman Museum. Let's go to the museum. Off a trot. Just down here in one of the rivers down in Canterbury, Holly's pointed out to me, there's a witch's dunking chair. The dunking witches. Right above that guy's head. <laughs> That's crazy. So, um, you're gonna go sit on it then? Mm, no. <laughs> and I will be able to show you as much of the museum as I can because photography encourages and share your experience. So, take along the ride with me. And here we have Holly <laughs> dressed up as a Roman centurion. How's the armour feel? I mean, this is all I did. Cold. Cold. I'm pulling on my hairs. It's pulling your hairs. Yeah. What your armpit has? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Do a twirl. <laughs> I didn't know this about the Romans, right? How tall they were. I am six foot three, very large, built male of the modern age. And this is how tall a Roman was next to me. The average Roman. Dinky. I work in class as a giant. It's crazy. Diddle diddle. <laughs> See, even Holly is taller than the average of Roman. Look. And that's even. I'm taller than a lot of people now. Yeah, you are. <laughs> even with his big booth on. <laughs> There's a gorgeous mosaic. Sorry. Mosaic, top 10 facts. But I'm just looking at this one, and it reminds me of when I did the archaeology dig down in um, the, the Warren in Folkestone. It's very similar with the heart shapes and even down to the patterns on the outside there. That's, that's strange how they kept the same design. It's awesome. Holly, what have you been doing? You've been making a mosaic. What did you make? <laughs> <laughs> Holly's just admiring, the same as me, all the gold Celtic that coins. That cone looks like it's giving me the, the V. That cone looks like it's doing what it does, actually. It looks <laughs> like it's... Um, Saying the peace sign the other way around, yes. <laughs> is that a toggle for her? Is that an old? Ah, look at those, very nice. Mm. There's some big old ones. Is that a mirror? Must have been a mirror. Is that a Celtic mirror and Celtic brooches? Look at that. I found one of them. And I will insert a little clip of mine when I get back home here. I'm showing you the Iron Age brooch that I found. That's pretty cool. My feebler isn't Roman after all, so that's still on my bucket list, but it's even better. It's Iron Age. <laughs> oh, Bobby legend. Look at that. That right. is. An Iron Age brooch. <laughs> even earlier. I'm over the moon. Better it's even better than, than I thought. Better than a fibula. <laughs> yeah, it's better than I thought. Iron Age cremation Age helmet, cremation, cremation yeah. burial. Uh, the finest of its type ever found in Britain. The finest of its type ever found in Britain. Just outside of Canterbury. It looks like it would have had a design on it as well. That's pretty cool. Holly's amazed by these um, phallic pendants and she says they're bigger than mine. Thanks, Holly. <laughs> it's not exactly difficult. <laughs> That's pretty cool. This is a little Roman display of trinkets and art in the facts. That's how Roman Canterbury should have looked. What a vast city for its time. Now we're into a Roman kitchen. I don't know what she's supposed to be doing. Uh, do you need a hand, love? She's cooking this bit of meat, I suppose, but... Onions. Holly's road of transport. <laughs> Apologies for noise, there's a lot of school, but this amulet here, gold amulet, was found by a metal detectorist. Obviously, but there it is, the side. Evil eye in the middle. It's got what? A ring. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. A ring? A finger ring. A finger ring. Yeah. 
Where else do you put ratings? Don't answer that one, Holly. Is that found by detectorists as well? Yeah, by many yeah. detectorists. This might be an indication of why I find so much lead in fields, because this is all made of lead. It's part of uh, the draining pipe for the Roman baths, but yeah, that explains a lot. Oh, look at the designs on these there, uh, Roman silver spoons. Absolutely intricate Roman ingots of pure silver. That's pretty awesome. Some more Roman spoonage. All having a spoon. Oh, I mean, look at that. Gold ring, silver, and bronze coins. Cool. Oh, would you look at that, Fox? Oh, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Peasant. Peasant. Cool hair, dude. That is a handsome crow. It's very random. Cat charm. Scarab amulet. I don't think the camera is going to do this justice as stained glass window. It's amazing. The details in it. Catherine Wheels. Catherine Wheels. Oh, yeah, to your <laughs> heritage. Some lovely little pilgrim badges there, look. They're pretty awesome. What's this? It amazes me when you see stuff like this in museums and the amount of times I've walked over these in the fields. Obviously not complete like this. Obviously the stems and the actual bowls. That's why I love the hobby. You never know what's beneath your feet. Even down to the watch winders. Got some of them at home. Got one very similar to that one there as well. The gold buttons that I dig up and give me heart attacks each time. Worn by Sir Sidney Smith, 1810. More pilgrims badges. Just look at this. This is thing dreams made of. Focus, focus, focus. It's um all the Saxon stuff. That's an offer penny. Wait, focus, there you go. I think that's offer. Along with the purchase, look at that. The whole showcase of all the Saxon. It's amazing. The little Saxon skeet. Wait for it, Chris. There you go. Oh, Start with yet. It's on my bucket list to find one of them. I think this is absolutely amazing. It's an arm guard. Spring-loaded spike with two pistols. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty awesome too. That lace is amazing. Oh, it's gold and silver lace and lace, amazing. Yeah, nothing beats that though. That's definitely an emboss weapon. <laughs> you need that for the emboss. So there you go. That's our little trip to Canterbury. For your enjoyment and ours. Holly's um, had five guys. I got, I, I, I got my fancy tea. <laughs> and she's got some fancy tea bags that cost more than a small mortgage. But anyway, it's if you fun. like this sort of thing, just give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, I shall see you out in the fields. Um, yeah, the reason we weren't out digging today was because of uh, only one metal detector between two of us. One's been sent back. 
the problem child has been sent back. Right, <sighs> let's gas in, have a trot. 